ericmothethmother.com. Now I'd like to answer a question that was posed to me and the question is why did this break out after this stock had cleared the previous monthly closing high we got this breakout after one month of rest so that was a good entry on hindsight stock broke out the question is why did the stock not do well more than this in other words eventually I'll show you that the stock does fail in other words it goes a little bit higher pulls back the question is why did the stock fail now of course I don't know why um, that's a hard question to answer but I can try and explain why I think there was some little bit of a downside pressure after the stock broke out now one thing we can see here very clearly is that the breakout did meet our minimum requirements because at the time we can see the RSI moves above 69.1 we can see that the MACDs move to three-year highs remember we only need one of the MACDs to move to three-year highs so this stock did meet the minimum requirements for the ultimate more the breakout there should be a link in the description of the video explaining this method so the breakout was a quality breakout so one would expect maybe to see a bigger move and yes the stock did show a good swing trade breaking out here from under 45 let's call it about 44 and the highs here two months later was about 60 now let's take a look at a longer monthly chart and I'll show you three reasons why I think the stock failed so three reasons it's just my own reasons and I'm gonna use technical analysis because I don't know why it failed I just can show you why from hindsight it looks like the stock struggled now take a look at the long-term monthly chart and what we have here is all data monthly so we can see the breakout that we were showing previously was here we see a successful breakout but what happened is the stock took this path went up pull back went up down up and subsequently this was the drop that I'm being asked to try and answer why did the stock take this plunge here now it's important to keep in mind that this drop took place in 2015 and you'll see why that is also part of the reason why we get this drop in 2015 now I'll give you three reasons number one which is just my own thinking here number one is we have a failed breakout in 2015 the stock tried to break out and failed so that was enough to get people a little bit on the cautious side if not to sell it that's the first reason as far as I can tell and again from hindsight and as we know hindsight is obviously 2020 now let me give you another reason in my own opinion number two reason why we see a pullback after the highs here is because of negative divergence in other words we had an improvement in terms of monthly closing highs but there was a decline in technicals so in the middle of 2015 stock was trying to improve in price but the RSI made a lower low and the RSI was rejected when it tried to move above 69.1 so after the failed breakout negative divergence RSI 69.1 rejection around here ultimately we collapse lower so that's reason number two let me give you reason number three now reason number three has to go back to the general market and here we have the chart for the nifty and we can see that in 2015 the nifty pretty much started the year higher and would see a drop throughout 2015 now keep in mind the stock was trying to break out around this time period here 
as the stock was trying to break out, the Nifty was already on a downward trend. So in my opinion, reason number three for the failed breakout in 2015 is because the general market was also in a bearish trend. Now let me give a bonus here. If we go back and take a look at the stock itself, we can see here as a bonus, if you want to understand why it made these lows here, again on hindsight, but this is a method I talk about a lot. We see that we can see an entry here in 2009. Now this method, I'm going to include a link. I call this method uniformity. The reason why I coined this terminology is because once you understand this, anytime you have uniform activity on a predetermined important line, that tends to be telling you something. So here we can see an important breakout of the RSI. What we do is we draw our uniformity line, horizontal line. Anytime we have uniform activity on this line, we know the market is telling us that a turnaround is about to take place. Here, we come here, we kiss the line. Mwah! Now, that is uniform action. Market is telling us there's going to be a rebound. And yes, the stock does start coiling back high. Here, we can see uniform activity. In other words, it is uniform activity because it looks like this. Uniform activity can take many shapes and form. So this period here is uniform action right there. So again, that was the market saying that these were important lows. Since those lows, we've gone higher. Now remember, stocks don't trade in a vacuum. If we go take a look at the Nifty, we can see the same thing. Coming off the lows of 09, the Nifty moves above this range using our uniformity principle. In the future, anytime we bounce on this line with uniform action, we know that the market is telling us to expect a rebound. We kiss the line right there mwah, with uniform action, which was those monthly lows, market recovered. We come back and test the same line in early 2016, market kissed that same level. Mwah. And again, those were lows. Guess what happened? We move higher. So when the stock was bottoming here in 2016, January, February, it's because the general market was also bottoming. So as the Nifty was moving lower in 2015, stocks were struggling. As the Nifty recovered, in early 2016, we can see that stocks in general started pointing higher. All right, that's it for now. Let me end there. Hope that answers your question. Eric Mwadet, Mwadet.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E, A, C, S, yes. Mwah. Ha, ha. Woo. Yeah.